Welcome to Fashion Avenue News TV, where only the best will do. I'm your host, Sophia Davis, and today we have an absolutely amazing guest for you. But before we speak to our guest, we have to say hello to our sponsors. We'll be right back in just a moment. gentlemen, we are back on Fashion Avenue News TV, and I had the amazing Tamara here with me of Tam Tam Makeup on the Fly. I hope I said everything correct. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. Thanks for having me. Well, I am so happy to have you because what we want to do is let people know about all of the amazing independent brands that are out here so that people can support you, you know, as you grow your business. So it's important that they know that you're here and you're doing fabulous things. We're going to jump right into the interview. Now, let's get a little background. Coming up, were you always like the polished girl, the I got to have my nails done girl, and I got to da-da-da-da-da? Tell us a little bit about that. So absolutely. Um, coming up, everything had to look a certain way. I always had to get my hair done. Um, every two weeks, I still do do that now. My nails have to be done. I have to look a certain way. That's just how I was brought up. Um, my mother, um, she, you know, was the same way. I'm very particular. I'm very finicky and things have to just be a certain way. Um, a lot of my friends, you know, growing up, they would, you know, call me bougie or, you know, oh, you a prima donna and, you know, all those things like that. But that's just who I am. And so um, everything that I, you know, that's an extension of me, I try my best um, that whatever it is that I put out, it speaks to you know, who I am. And I think that's very important because when you're growing a brand or a business, you want that to be an extension and a reflection of who you are, which exactly. is very important. Now, was cosmetics the first business that you thought of or did you think of something else? So no. So cosmetics came after, let's say, maybe trialing, challenges, I'll say. Initially, I wanted to open up a spa again, because I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always knew I wanted to have something more than um, my nine to five, which there's nothing wrong with that because people are doing well and they are excelling, you know, in their nine to five. So don't, you know, misunderstand that. But I just knew that I wanted something that was my own. Um, mm -hmm. And so because I am into hair, um, my presentation, you know, fashion, things like that. I said, you know what? I want to open up my own spa because again, I love massages. I just love, you know, maintenance. I love keeping up with myself. And I spent a lot of time in spas, right? Nail spas, hair salons, um, and things like that. So there were some challenges with that. Um, and so I decided to shift 
lanes a little, okay? And mm-hmm. I wanted to incorporate my love for travel into the beauty world. Okay. Mm. So I came up with this idea because I've traveled a lot. I saw that in airports, at first there were no cosmetic vending machines in airports. Let me say that. That Mm -hmm. has changed, right? Over the last years that has changed. But what I Mm -hmm. noticed was there would be cosmetic vending machines, but they would only have one brand okay, of cosmetics. And sometimes that just simply did not cater to every skin tone, right? Maybe cater to more, uh, to one skin tone a little more than the other. So Mm -hmm. I came up with this idea to um, uh, do a vending machine, I'm sorry, Um, but I would offer multiple cosmetic brands. Okay, to give travelers options, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know that because I'm just, you know, the regular person that you see walking down the street and I don't have um, a name that that would be very, very challenging because people Mm -hmm. didn't want to do business with me because, well, who are you? We've never heard of you before, right? And so Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? I went almost a year trying to research. Um, I even had a um, deal out at BWI airport to get this rolling. But the issue was I could not get other brands to work with me because they don't know anything about me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I said, okay. I said, you know what? I'm going to create my own brand grow that and then I'll circle back around to the airports and I will make sure that I have products for all skin tones, right? So my motto is never change the goal, but sometimes you have to change the plan, right? So keeping my entrepreneur focus but just shifting things a little bit and still doing what it is that I wanted to do, right? So that's why, if you notice, I am makeup on the fly, but I am doing business as Tam Tam Cosmetics because makeup on the fly came first. You see mm-hmm. the connection, where I wanted to go, put my love it in airports, right? So makeup on the fly. So that is how that, you know, um came yeah. together. I love it. I love the name makeup on the fly too. I just thought that was so cool. Mm-hmm. I was like makeup on the fly. You kind of makes you think and that's good for a brand mm-hmm. because it could be makeup on the fly meaning you know um well you're flying that could be it mm-hmm. and it could be like if you're going somewhere you could get a makeup artist on the fly like at the last minute to come and help you or whatever. But I just fell in love with that name. I think it's amazing. It's Thank really, you. really good. Thank now, what makes Tam Tam makeup on the fly different from other brands? Because, you know, there's a lot of makeup brands out here. Mm-hmm. What is it? The customer service? Is it the fact that you have so many skin tone colors? Mm-hmm. What's it, what makes it different? So one of my focuses were to make sure that I was able to create products that matched all skin tones, right? Especially those skin tones that are harder to match. So I wanted to create a line that my complexion, your complexion, a sister that is two, three tones darker or lighter than us could wear. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of beauty brands, right? You know, the beauty industry is very, very oversaturated. And that's why I had to, you know, be cautious of who I told this because people would, well, why do you want to do this? You know, there's so many other brands. Well, there's a lot of um, bread companies in the grocery store aisle also too, right? Exactly, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and they're all doing well, right? <laughs> so, um, exactly. mm-hmm, so that's what I just wanted to focus on. Um, something that, worked for all women 
Um, and I also wanted to, you know, create colors and shades that um, just changed how a woman feel. Like I said, because I am big on self-care. I love keeping my hair done, my nails mm -hmm. done, you know, all throughout the winter. I'm getting pedicures, you know, summer, spring, fall, <laughs> whatever, right. you know. Right. Yeah. And so one thing that I know is that um, no matter what a woman goes through or what she experiences, if she is able to get her hair done, she's able to put on a nice outfit, she's able to put on just a little makeup, even if it's not a full face, even if it's just a lipstick, she, that changes how she feels. Am I right or wrong? You know, and even you if you are two hundred and ten percent right, mm -hmm. because I had a client that used to say a little lipstick will wake up a face, mm -hmm. and that meant that you know even if you're feeling down or sad, because you know we've been in a pandemic and you know it's just been challenging for everyone. Mm -hmm. But a little lipstick, you know, comb your hair, you know, it starts to make you feel a hundred percent better. So I love that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I think that's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And so I just wanted, you know, um, again, you know, women, we go through so many things, you know, and it's not to, uh, it's not going to change, you know, makeup, hair, clothes, it doesn't change your situation, right? But if just for a little while, you know, someone can have a Tam Tam product, and it make and it changes the way that they feel, even if it's just for a little bit, then I feel like I've been successful in doing what it is that you know, I intended to do. And I think that's fabulous. Mm -hmm. Now, who is the Tam Tam customer? Who's your client? Who, um, you know, I know you said that, um, you know, it's kind of catered to women of all shades. Who is that client? Is it a luxury client? Is it, um, you know, maybe a younger college student? Who is the client? So it's more so um, an established woman, um, mm -hmm. a woman that pretty, you know, an established woman, right? You know, that every day that working woman um, that loves, you know, luxury, but at affordable price, right? Mm -hmm. um, my customer range so far from what I'm got the information that I'm gathering, um, I did just launch in November, um, but it's usually like that 30 to, I'm getting like 50, 55 um, range, yeah. Good. That's wonderful. But it that's sounds not, like a, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but that's not to say that, you know, I have had um consumers that are 20 years old, 23. Sure. We welcome them sure. all, right? Um oh, but, certainly, certainly. Mm -hmm, but, I mean, everyone can be, mm -hmm. you know, the Tam Tam makeup on the fly client. Sometimes exactly. you just have kind of like a little target market, Absolutely. you know, a uh, kind of market too. Absolutely. Like you say, the established woman that might be, you know, she can spend the money. She has that kind of disposable income. Whereas maybe a younger client might be paying for books or might be paying for other things where they can't, you know, take the time to spend that much. You know what I mean? Okay. So I totally get it. And that's fabulous. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking with Tamara of Cam Cam Makeup on the Fly Cosmetics. We're going to speak to our sponsors and we'll be right back in just a moment.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Fashion Avenue News TV, and we are speaking with the amazing Tam Tam Makeup on the Fly Cosmetics. It's a wonderful brand. Now, Tamara, who is your competition as far as, you know, your, your cosmetic brand? Who would you consider your competition? I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of the larger brands that are out here. Um, mm -hmm. And I say that because the well-known brands, you know, like the ones that you probably patronize and other people that are, you know, watching. Um, and the reason I say that is because the products that I have created, they are very, very, very good products. The quality mm -hmm. is amazing. Mm -hmm. They speak to exactly what it is that I advertise, that they are, you know, smudge proof, you know, that it's long lasting, um, that they don't dry out your lips. Um, so mm -hmm. all of these things, other, you know, my competitors, you know, um, I don't want to name anyone in particular, but you know, the major right. brands. That no, but are, I mean, we know the brands that are right, out there. Exactly. Yeah. The major brands. And yeah. I've had customers come and tell me this shade looks like, and they'll name it from one of the other larger brands, you know? Um, oh my goodness. This feels so good. Oh my goodness. Your mat does not dry my lips out. It doesn't, you know, have my lips cracking. I have a mat at home that is this brand and it cannot stand up to this lipstick that you have. You know, the only difference is, um, and I'll be honest with you, it's just that I'm not well known, right? No one, mm -hmm. the world doesn't know about my brand like they do other brands, you know? Well, they don't know yet, but we're going to try to change that. You know, we need... Um, you know, people to get behind the independent brands because one of the things that, you know, we find, and this is just because this is what we've been taught and learned as we were coming up, that if you, it's in a big department store or a well-known brand, or you see a celebrity that has it on, that that makes it a good brand. And that's not necessarily so. So I think there is a shift now where people are beginning to look at independent brands and they're beginning to support those independent brands and I think that that's very important because you know a lot of times we talk about circulating recirculating money in our own community and now I'm not talking just a black community I am talking about an independent community so I just like to make that clear when I say our community I am talking about independent people like yourself who are out here that are actually trying to get their brand, like you say, no. So I think it's very important that people, um, you know, support you. Now, what do you do to get the name out there? Because we know, you know, the big brands, they have all these videos and marketing and they're in magazines and da, 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 you know, and of course, social media. So what is the plan to get the name out there so that it does become more well-known? Mm -hmm. So one of the things that um, I'm working on right now is building brand awareness. And I'm glad you asked that. So, you know, of course, social media is like the number one key. You know, you have to be um, on social media. And I'm going to tell you, fun fact, before I started my brand, I was never on social media. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where I found you. I right. Social media. Listen, I know, but before the brand started, I was not on social media. So even today, I'm still learning the, you know, the tricks. Ins and the outs. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so brand awareness. Um, so what that looks like for me is um, I'm getting ready to launch a brand ambassador program, right? Oh, so that will allow more of a reach for the brand. Um, I'll have it on, you know, different levels of brand ambassadors. So say if a person has like under like 5K and under followers, and then if someone has, you know, between 10 to let's say 25,000 followers or a little bit more, then, you know, it'll be like, you know, I'll have different levels of the brand ambassador program, um, which my hope is to bring more awareness to the brand. And then for the brand ambassador, it'll allow her the opportunity to um, earn some 
income, right? Doing tutorials, yeah. um, yeah. posting, you know, things like that. Um, what I'm doing with you, um, interviews, you know, I plan to do more of those. Um, any type of networking that I can do. I know that we are still, you know, facing this pandemic right now, but things are slowly, you know, they've started to open up. So I do plan to, with, you know, precaution, um, attend more events and, you know, just push and get the name out there and stuff like that. And then of course, just continue to uh, be consistent as possible, you know, on social media. Uh, but okay. it is, it's, you know, it's a process um, because like you oh, said, yeah. those well-known brands, you know, they can launch a product and no one has ever tried the product yet, right? Because the product is new and then you'll see a week later or you'll see in the comments, someone says, oh, I just received my product yesterday and I love it. Let, let's say ex example if this was maybe like a skincare product right mm -hmm. well how do you know <laughs> how do you know that you love the product and you just received it yesterday you haven't had enough time to see if the product is really going to work if it's going to take away the dark circles if it's going to help with the blemishes or just you know keep your face moisturized just whatever it is that the product you know um is does it does. Yeah. Yeah. right right but because the name of the you know, the celebrity or the well-known public figure is attached to it that automatically makes it an awesome brand. I mean, an awesome product, but someone like myself, you know, they'll be that first. people don't know. They mm -hmm. might, you know, be like, well, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know what this is, but, you know, she gave it to me for free or whatever, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, have you thought of per perhaps marketing to like makeup artists that go out and do shows or almost like um, a multi-level marketing type thing where, you know, I'll have to say a name because mm -hmm. this is an example of like a Mary Kay where Mary Kay has um, people that go around. Now, what they do is they buy the product wholesale and then they sell it and whatever they make is their, you know, extra money. Mm -hmm. um, because I find that if someone is selling a product like if I have a friend and she came to me and said oh you know um, I'm a consultant for uh, Tam Tan makeup on the fly cosmetics that they have this like amazing lipstick that doesn't come off when you wear your mask do you want to you know buy some it's only like whatever whatever mm -hmm. and I would say 99.9% .9 I would purchase it because I would trust her judgment as far as the quality of the product of the brand right. so that might be, you know, an idea. I don't know if you've thought of those particular things or kind of like marketing it to uh, makeup artists. Mm -hmm. Because, see, what a makeup artist does, they go out and they uh -huh. make up people. And so what happens is that person likes whatever's on their face. And they say, what is that? Oh, I want that makeup. What is that makeup you use on me? It went so well with my skin. So those might be some little ideas. Have you maybe thought about that kind of marketing? And actually, and it's funny you ask because actually I have because I just had someone. Today is Sunday on Friday. Um, I was having a conversation about connecting with some makeup artists um, in regards to possibly um, checking with my manufacturing company to get like some like some sample sizes, right? And then that way, you know, let's say you are with this makeup artist and your face is done and now it's time for you to leave. But you say, mm, my event is not until four more hours. You know, do, do you have this lip that I can, you know, can I have this or do you, but the makeup artist can say, oh, well, here you go, you know, and here's the product. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, um, I have a list of things that um, I'm going to be working on to help yeah. the brand. Yeah, different ideas and, that you're going to be yes. coming up with. And I think that that is amazing. Now, where is Tam Tam Makeup on the Fly sold right now? Is it just online? That, yes. Or do you, are you in a um, brick and mortar? So right now we are just online. Um, we have an mm -hmm. e-commerce. Um, and currently right now, we only ship within the United States. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to run over to our sponsors. Today, our special guest 
is Tamara of Tam Tam Cosmetics Makeup on the Fly, and it is fabulous. We'll be right back in just a moment. And gentlemen, we are back on Fashion Avenue News, and we are talking with the queen of cosmetics, Miss Tam Tam Makeup on the Fly, Tamara. She's telling us all about Tam Tam Cosmetics and why you need to support this brand. This is an independent brand, and it's made for the woman that is established, but it is priced for everyone, so everyone can wear the brand. You need to run over and take a look at it. Now, Tamara, have you ever thought about selling like on Amazon or something like that? So I have. Um, I've thought about Amazon, um, Etsy as well, and also mm -hmm. um, Walmart, Walmart's Marketplace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are some um, avenues that I am going to look into as well. I think that that's amazing because one of the things is, um, you know, you got to look at different areas. You know, social media is great. Online is great. But sometimes people want to go to like they might be just in, in Amazon looking and see your cosmetics. So that's amazing. Now, did you have a mentor to help you when you had these thoughts of starting your business? Because, you know, sometimes. Having that mentor is so important because, you know, it's so easy. We have so many challenges that we can get distracted. Mm -hmm. So um, it's funny you ask. I did take a mentorship program um, years and years ago. OK. And like I said, that's when I had the whole um, airport vision. Right. And so I had this amazing business plan and <laughs> every component of the business plan and I said okay this is what I'm going to do and so my mentor you know she would walk me through um everything but I a lot of it I'm going to be honest with you a lot of the well majority of all the information I had to research it and you know find it myself no one just laid the blueprint in my lap for me and said, this is how you do this. Um, it has been great having a mentor because um, she's been able to, actually I have two um, and they've both been able to, you know, just keep me kind of on a narrow because as an entrepreneur, you know, probably new and some of the um, what most experienced entrepreneurs who've been in it for a long time, sometimes your thoughts are just all over the place. And it's so many things that, you know, you want to do because you're excited. You know, you have so many ideas. I mean, I'm up 
at two, three in the morning and I kid you not, I'm just like thinking, 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 thinking. I'm online, just looking at stuff. It's like my brain never stops, you know, it's from the time that I decided, okay, this, I want to become an entrepreneur. And so it's been good. Um, it's good having mentors because both of my mentors are um, business owners. And so they've been able, and they are, they're doing really, really well. So they've been able to pour into me what has caused them to be successful and then also share their downfalls, right? And try to help me from having the same one or similar, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so they're really, really, really good. You know, another reason that I feel like entrepreneurs, you do need a mentor is because you need someone that you can be able to talk to that is an alike mind, right? Because your circle of friends or your girlfriends or your family members, they don't see what you see, right? And sometimes it's just not good because let's say if you have a girlfriend who has no you know, thought of becoming an entrepreneur, she wants to work her nine to five and that's that's what she wants to do, right? She she doesn't want to do anything else. And again, it's nothing wrong with that. But right. when I come to her with an idea, yeah, she's yeah. not going to pour into me the way that I need because entrepreneurship is just something that she's not even, she has no care or concern about, right? Mm-hmm. So it's just different. So the mentors, any entrepreneur, you know, I say, get you a mentor, maybe even two, if need be, you know, because there's that thing, iron sharpens iron, you know, um, both of and my mentors, they, they have mentors, right? That's right. That's what you have to have. And, you know, I'm glad that you do have one because see, it's so important. Sometimes, like you said, you go to a, a friend or a family member and they can't see your dream, but you know why that's okay? Because it is your dream, you know? It's not, they can't see it because it's just not in them to see. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like you said, you can work your nine to five, whatever, and that's fine. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when you have a passion for something and it is burning inside you and you just have to do it because you're up three and four in the morning and you got to figure this out, it means so much to you that you do need the support. You do need to speak to someone like a mentor that either has been mentored or knows how to encourage you because you already have enough pressure to discourage you from what you want to do that's why it's important that someone can encourage you even if it's not what you want to hear they might have to tell you listen i think you need to try this route you don't change the goal you just change the the road toward the goal you stick with what you want to do but You might have to do this for a minute. You might have to do that for a minute, but you know that you're on the right path. So this is why I think mentorship is so important because people don't really realize, you know, how important a mentor can be. And saying that, I'd like to talk to you about how do you encourage other people? And it doesn't mean that they're in the same business as you, but you know, somebody could be an entrepreneur. And they may see you on social media, might not even know you, just like you took a chance to do an interview with me. You never met me before. You said, this woman asked me, okay, you know, I'm going to take a chance. So they might say, wow, she's doing good. You know, she's like out there and she's consistent. How do you encourage other people to follow their dreams? Well, to be honest with you, um, I tell people and just do it, right? Just go for it. Here's the thing. It's your dream. It's your vision. Go for it. Because, so here's the thing. I tell people, be careful who you share it with, okay? Mm -hmm. And so the reason I say that is because when I first had this idea I want to say maybe three people that I talk to on a regular basis. I mean, 
constantly talk to them, right? I just knew that they would be happy for me. Maybe not as happy as I, you know, were, but they would be really, really happy for me. Um, and that was not the case. You know, they appeared as if they were happy for me, but there were things that I saw that they were doing when I would be having conversation with them if I brought it up that let me know that they don't, they're not really as happy for me as I thought that they would be. So I share this to say, when you have a dream, you have a passion, you want to become an entrepreneur, you want to start something, be very cautious of who you share your dream and your vision with, because people will tell you 101 reasons why something will not work before exactly. they will give you the first reason why it will work okay now i do have some very close girlfriends that have been supporting me i mean effortlessly and they are very honest with me okay you know and i appreciate that and i know that they are authentically genuine about their support you know um they purchase the product you know they share when I post something, they're constantly sharing it. You know, they're liking, they're asking, when is the spring summer collection getting ready to launch? Because I'm getting ready to launch that. Um, you know, they are into it, right? And I appreciate that because mm -hmm. not all of my friends have been that way, you know? Um, and so to that entrepreneur that wants to get started, but maybe, you know, you're hesitant, you're unsure, you don't know if it's going to work. You have to start somewhere. Don't do like me and think that everything has to be, you know, perfect. You have to have all your ducks in a row. Because let me tell you something, there's, there's no perfect time, okay? Because I am very, very, very particular, and we talked about that in the beginning, things had to be a certain way. They have to look a certain way. Everything has to gel. You know, um, a few of my close girlfriends, you know, with the website, I was like, well, I need to have this. I need to have this. They was like, no, you need to get the website going. You can make it, you know, glamorous and you can, you know, get started, just do it, right? Because the beauty in it all is watching your business grow, you know? Exactly. Being able to say, hey, I started out with this kind of packaging, right? I started out with this kind of packaging, but now today, look at what I have, right? So my things to entrepreneur. Be careful who you tell your dreams to, who you share your information with. Do the work. If you get discouraged, mm -hmm. you run into a roadblock, just keep on pressing forward. You know, um, there's been times where some information came easily for me and some information just simply didn't. I had to research it. It took six, seven, eight months, but I kept on going. I kept on going. Don't stop. Keep going and just start. You know, and I don't allow, yeah, and don't allow anyone to tell you that you can't do something, right? You know, because nine times out of 10, the person is telling you you can't do it. They haven't started themselves or they have no interest in even doing it, right? Um, and then don't think that it's too late. You know, some people, I talk to some people sometimes and, you know, they're, oh, well, you know, I just turned 45. I don't, you know, I'm getting old. Okay, well, there are billionaires that started late. You know, that, was 66 when he started, right? He and, he tried chicken. He right. Was 66 years old. So it's never too late. And we're still eating KFC today, right? That's right. <laughs> and, and, the, and the thing about it is, it's not that you're starting late, it's just that you're starting after, let's say, the person to your left or right. But it doesn't mean that you're starting late. You're starting when you're supposed to, because for whatever reason, you weren't supposed to start. 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So that's- And I like I'm that. One of my things, yeah. One of my things that I always say to people in general, my famous, not famous, but for me it's famous, mm -hmm. that I say to people when they tell me anything or tell someone else, or they come to me and they say, oh, I don't know how am I gonna do this, da da da, da. You know what I tell people? It's only impossible until you do it. That means nothing is impossible. They tell you, your friends, your family, everybody tells you it's impossible. But then when you do it, they say, oh, I know you could do it, honey. Oh, I knew you could do it. 
So I always tell people it's only impossible until you do it. And then my other little uh, saying is success is a journey. It's not a finish line. There's no finish line to success. There's no, um, oh, I got to get here or I have to do this or it has to be this way. It's a journey and enjoy the journey because that is really the success. Like you said, you had this packaging, you might have that packaging, you have this, you don't, you know, da, 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 da. So the thing is, it's the journey that is the success. When you can look at your product and say, wow, I love this new packaging, or I'm going to launch this, this, and this, you know, this is, this is amazing. It's mm -hmm. the journey that is the success. So I think that people need to take that. I don't think you got to make this amount of money. If you are consistent, you are successful in my book. And this is what I always, you know, I tell people, I have my little, you know, sayings, uh, consistency is the key to success. Success is a journey and it's only impossible until you do it. Absolutely. Now, last question, what products does Tam Tam Makeup on the Fly have available that people can purchase? Because I think I saw the lipsticks, but I'm not sure if there's a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. So currently right now, um, what we have, we have lips and we have lashes. So currently we have 13. Ooh, I love lashes. Mm -hmm. So currently mm -hmm. we have 13 different shades. So we have, um, here's two of them right here. So we have two lip gloss. Well, I'm sorry. We have four lip gloss. This is two of them. Um, so we have four lip gloss. We actually have four liquid mattes. So these are the ones that have been doing tremendously well simply because, you know, um, women still want to look cute. They still want their lips to, you know, be a statement piece, right? Um, but, you know, we still have to wear masks and stuff like that. So I have four liquid mattes. I also have three cream lipsticks. And then I have mm -hmm. two liquid lips. So the liquid lips, you know, that's a, you know, higher performing of a lip gloss. Um, and then I have three different styles of eyelashes that come in this really, really, really nice luxury box um, mm -hmm. that actually um, it's reusable, right? So, okay. you know, your lashes are here. Um, you can wear the lashes, you know, up to 20, maybe even 25 times, depending if you handle them with care, right? Um, these lashes that I have on now, I've worn these like six or seven times um, and they still fabulous and I'm going to keep on wearing them. <laughs> that's right. That is, right. That is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, so, that's great. Mm -hmm. and then um, we just did a photo shoot yesterday for our spring summer collection, which will be dropping in 15 days and we're adding some new shades. So we'll have six more new shades. Um, we have these dual, um, dual liquid. Mm -hmm. So this is the dual liquid. So you apply this in first, you let it dry for a few minutes, and then you add the shimmer. And then this is the one that I'm wearing now. So this is Chinatown Glow. So this is the one I actually have on now. So I have the nude on, and then I apply the shimmer to it. Um, so those are duels. And then we have these two shades that are coming out the purple, DuPont purple, and this is Southside Shine. Um, and then we have two mattes. I've been getting a lot of questions. Are you going to add any mattes? Are you going to add any mattes? So we do have um, two mattes that are coming out as well. And so, yeah, we have 13 and we'll be That's adding crazy. six at the end of this month. Well, I think that is fabulous. That is really, really good. Because, you know, we want people to support your brand. We're going to tell them to go and check you out and, you know, to support by purchasing and, you know, do things like that. Because I think that it's so important that we recirculate, as I said earlier, the money in the independent community and your independent uh, company. Why should we buy bigger brands that up until recently never even made shades for us, to be honest? Mm -hmm. So we're running and spending our money with them when you're making shades for us, because you are our shade. So <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think that that's so important. Okay, let's get your social media. 
And where people can, you know, buy, reach you, anything like that. So my Instagram is I am T-A-M T-A-M Cosmetics. And the website is www.tamtamcosmetics.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Sophia Davis. You're watching Fashion Avenue News TV. And we have been speaking with the fabulous Tam Tam Cosmetics Makeup on the Fly, a beautiful independent brand. We're going to have the information come up. You need to run over and check her out. You're watching Fashion Avenue News TV, where only the best will do. We'll see you next week.